Hi everybody, this is Sarah here. In this video we will do uh, isolation exercises for the triceps. So triceps is the muscle group that is basically uh, responsible for this extension of the elbow. There is also some function in the uh, adduction and extension from the shoulder, but mainly we talk about this extension. So there are three heads of the triceps. There's the long head of the triceps, we have lateral head of the triceps, and then we have the medial head of the triceps. So basically I will show you now, so that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the lateral head is here like on the outside of the upper arm. So you can see it creates a lot of definition here. Then we have the long head of the triceps which creates a lot of uh, muscular bulk to your triceps. And it is, this is, it's the one here like on the inside, inner side of the upper arm. And you can see it very well if I do a tricep pose. But then we have the medial head which it's kind of mostly below these two and it is a bit visible from here from the side and that's very important in this full lockout extension. So one of the benefits that you can gain from isolating the triceps is of course uh, you will just gain a very full developed triceps uh, size, aesthetics, mass but also strength increases in pressing exercises is most likely to occur if you do bench presses or overhead presses or just normal push-ups. And after that is of course the safety of your elbow, uh, tendon and the joint. So, I mean there are quite many people who experience uh, some type of pain when they do skull crushers or do tiger bend push-ups. So usually uh, the cause for this is just weak muscles in the tricep. There's poor control in this uh, full extension and usually uh, the medial head is just weak. So we'll now take a look at these exercises. I will explain like what what emphasis are there on the muscles of the triceps. And so let's go. First we start by doing the skull crusher exercise. And in this version we point the elbow slightly back. This stretches the long head of the triceps. And it also allows us to keep a constant tension in the triceps during the exercise. So it makes it a bit more challenging. But it's very important in this exercise to, with control, do the full lockout of that elbow. So this trains the medial head of the triceps and it really prevents uh, shoulder pain. You can take a more narrow grip, the uh, shoulders are more internally rotated. And this emphasizes a bit more the uh, outer lateral, lateral head of the triceps. If you take a wider grip, you emphasize a bit more uh, the longer head of the triceps because the shoulders are more externally rotated. Next is straight arm pullovers. Uh, this one really burns that longer head of the triceps and remember to use quite light weights. Uh, weight this keep, uh, keep your shoulders healthier and very good uh, slow a controlled movement is important in here. So you will also target a bit the lats, uh, slightly the chest. If you squeeze the chest and use mind muscle connection, you can you do this with the chest. And you also use the serratus and you stretch uh, the rib cage. But really, really good exercise for the long head of the triceps and also for the shoulders. So this is the skull crusher variation with the uh, dumbbells and. No, it's, uh, it's otherwise the same exercise, but there's a bit more stability in here that you need to use. And I think it's a bit more challenging than done with the barbell. But it also allows your wrist to be in a more natural position if you, if you feel wrist pain during uh, the skull crusher with the barbell. And here's the pullover version with the dumbbells. And you can keep uh, the elbows a bit bent or completely straight, but also very good uh, for the for the long head of the triceps, also the lats. Next exercise is a body weight tricep isolation. This is the tiger bent push up. Uh, there are also a bit like different ways to do this. Uh, in this version there isn't much stretch on the tricep <coughs> and there isn't much range of motion uh, but it's a very good way 
two isolated triceps uh, by using just your body weight. With this one you can also vary uh, the width of your arm, they can be shoulder width, wider or very narrow, sort of like in the, in the diamond push-up. So this is the tricep extensions or tiger bend push-up using a bench and it's although your, your body is like elevated it's still I think it's much harder because it increases the range of motion and the stretch in the triceps so it makes it a bit more challenging exercise. This exercise is sideline tricep extensions and it's a very good exercise for strengthening the medial head. Uh, this keeps a good tension in the lockout and you can really make this muscle burn and use light weights and it can be challenging to keep the upper arm in place and for this purpose uh, you can do it this way so now we support the arm uh, the upper arm with the with the other hand uh, to keep it from moving so work long long sets with light weights good control and squeeze the muscle in the end you can even hold it there for uh, for a second or two to work that full extension. This is the uh, behind the back brace or barbell kickback. So you keep uh, the straight arms all the time and just extend from the shoulder. And it really trains that uh, longer head of the triceps again, but in, in a shorter position, but all heads of the triceps do get worked when you do this. It's a bit challenging though, but it develops mobility in the shoulders as well. And you can like keep, uh, keep more narrow grip or a bit wider depending on your mobility. And you can also try overhand grip position. Now we do tricep kickbacks with dumbbells and really it, it trains all the heads of the triceps, but uh, like holding the arm in extension and squeezing in the end is really good for the long head of the triceps again because you need to keep the arm in extension. Next we do tricep exercises with the cables. So this one is a tricep extension to the side using the cable and this one was really challenging for me to keep the upper arm in place, required a lot of focus, but it's one of those exercises that I think is really good for that medial head. And of course, one benefit when using the cables is the constant tension that you get from it. So when you do the lockout, for example, you, you have the, the resistance there as well. And that's, that is one of the benefits why uh, or reasons why it works the medial head, but all heads of the tricep do get worked uh, in this exercise. So this one is the tricep kickback with the cable and once again cable just helps you to keep constant tension even uh, in the in the lower portion of the repetition. I think the best way to do this is to basically grab the cable uh, and, and not use any handles. The last exercise is the tricep overhead tricep extensions with the cable, uh, stretches the long, uh, long head of the triceps. And this is a bit challenging once again to do without jerking. So remember to keep good control, squeeze every repetition in the end. But this is the end of the video and I hope you, you realize that there are many ways you can train the triceps, emphasize different areas and understand why it's really important to practice that controlled extension of the uh, elbow joint So because it keeps your joints and tendons safe. But that's it and I'll see you soon. Take care.